this particular part of the documentary, we talk about a whole range of things that make up the BBS. For example, we start off with games and doors, and then mods, modifications to BBS systems that make them a bit unique. Then there's hardware, what particular pieces of hardware we can use to connect to a bulletin board system other than just a normal regular PC. And then there's also BBS server software. So if you're interested in setting up your own BBS, I'll have a little bit of a conversation about that. Then later on, we talk about BBS messaging and of course that important aspect about privacy. My name is Richard Orr. Uh, I was a bulletin board sysop from about 1985 to 1990. I'm also working on a door game, uh, a game that has been in my head for 25 years uh, that will soon be around called BOD. Man, this is gonna look bad, but my favorite door is one that I wrote, <laughs> uh, which is terrible. But it's a, a, it's a Korean War RPG called Sky Raiders. Anything that is accomplishing a modern task with a retro interface, I really love. And it's one of the things I love about the entire BBS scene. My name is Dan Richter, AKA Black Panther. And I also do some different modding and writing programs under the name of RCS. Hey everybody, my name is Tony Pascal. Most of you know me as Dream Master. My name is Oz Nixon, I'm a software engineer. In 2017, um, I decided I wanted to get back into BBSing. Why not write a BBS that's fully open source, give out my compiler for free and say, here. Then there's cutting edge BBS software that runs on retro equipment. Take Image 3.0, for example. Okay, I'm, I'm Larry Hedman and I've been involved in image BBS software since the late 80s. Well, I would say first things first, if you're thinking about starting your own BBS, do it. Just straight up do it. An enjoyable part of BBSing is taking part in conversations between bulletin board users. There's no pop-up ads or social media algorithms looking over your shoulder. From cooking recipes to C++ coding, there's a message base for everyone. Facebook, Twitter, Google, YouTube, Instagram, and many more free social networks and sites out there use intelligent tracker algorithms and cookies to understand data points on you. I mean, BBSing gave everybody the online voice without the screening, the editing, the editorial, the, the banning, the blocking, the Facebook jail, the censoring, and um, guys like me, you know, we old men, we look at this and go like, this is a joke, man, because this is not what being online was all about. I want folks to be folks. If you were in a bar and want a private conversation off to the side at your own table, you should have that privilege. Another thing that I... Uh that I really dislike now about today's modern net is just how sort of like corporatized and, and like clean and family friendly it's become, right? You can find what you want any way you want it and no one's stopping you from that free flow of information. And I think the BBS uh, once and future will give people the, the empowered ability to break free from the big tech giants be themselves, speak as they wish, do as they please, and just be, you know, good folks. It's always been about community. Like, it, I, I keep it coming back. It's about the group of people that you go and interact with. And, uh, and you know, and then there's nothing more exciting than doing that in, you know, for, you know, in a kind of retro way. It's a totally different experience than any of those other things can provide. Um, but it's also the community side as well. You know, when, when I connect to a BBS, I'm not just connecting to some computer in some random location. I'm connecting to a computer that's actually in someone else's house. There's that sense of community you get, right? You're not, you know, it's, it's much smaller. It's much more uh, tight knit, right? You're not just like some, you know, nameless face lost in the masses. It's not like anything you've done before. It just isn't. So join me, Alistair Ross, for the next part in Back to the BBS, the return to being online, premiering on YouTube soon. Don't forget to subscribe so you get the notification when it comes out.